Hey YouTube, Giga here from Mix Analog, and today I'm going to be introducing one of the crown jewels of Mix Analog, the Fairchild 670 Compressor Limiter. We're going to give it a spin on a classic jazz tune performed by Spectaculatius called Is You Is or Is You Ain't, that's available on the link below, on three occasions, the drum bus, the vocals and the whole mix. So without further ado, let's check it out how it sounds. First, let's take a look at the drum bus. To roughly simulate what's going to happen when I put the drums through the analog unit, I'm using the Slate's FG Mu plugin. This is a kind of a safeguard for me, practically for one single reason, and that's not to push the low end of the kick drum too loud, because the compressor will trigger too much, and the kick hits will distort in an unpleasant way. And now let's take a look at the vocals. I'm doing some expansion on this track to minimize the spill from the other instruments that would otherwise become even louder once we compress the track. And on my master bus I'm also using the FGMU again to simulate what a Fairchild would most probably behave like. And this is what I've done to the tracks mix-wise. There's a bit of EQ on most of the channels, mostly high-pass, low-pass filters and some notches here and there. And after that I've got constant emulation and some gentle color EQ, um, more constant emulation on the master bus and some reverb on the vocals. Okay, so let's bounce our drum bus and our vocals and continue in mix analog. Before we go on processing our tracks, let's check what each control on the Fairchild is doing, so we can move faster later. First one is the input gain, and this one is pretty simple. Clockwise means more level. For the threshold, bigger number means higher threshold and consequently less compression, and a smaller number means lower threshold, so more compression. The ratio is again pretty simple. A higher number means a higher ratio, and a lower number means lower ratio with a progressively softer knee. The timing constants are preset combinations of attack and release. Settings 1 to 4 have a single, progressively longer release constant, and settings 5 and 6 have a dual or auto release with a combination of one very long leveling style constant and one fairly short constant that reacts more to fast volume changes. This is a left-right or lateral vertical processing switch, more commonly known as mid-side. And this is the sidechain link switch that enables the two channels to compress equally or independently. And this one links the controls of the two channels, which is most useful when you're in the linked stereo mode. Okay, my reservation is active, so let's go to the processing app. And as always, I've done all my uploads in advance in the Files tab to save the processing time. I will load my drums on the first slot and my vocals on the second slot so I don't have to save presets. I will bypass all the other gear, so we will only hear what the Fairchild compressor is doing. And here we go.
Okay, I'm satisfied with how this sounds, so I'll put it in my bounce queue so I can continue working and bounce everything I've done when I'm finished with the vocals also. So as said, let's continue with the vocals. I will again bypass all the other gear, so we'll only be listening to what the Fairchild is doing. Let's have a listen. Is you, is or is you ain't my baby Way your acting lately makes me down You is still my baby, baby Seems my flame in your heart's done gone out A woman is you, is or is you ain't my baby Way your acting lately makes me down You is still my baby, baby Seems my flame in your heart's done gone out A woman I've compressed the vocal pretty hard, but I can still use the original track inside Pro Tools to mix it back in parallel if I find it too squashed. I'll give it a name, add it to my bounce cue, and try another thing with the drums. And that is the lateral vertical, or MS mode. I'll use the third slot for those settings. And again, because today it's all about that Fairchild, I'll bypass all the other processors. So we are in the lateral vertical mode and let's make sure that the left and right channel are coming into the Fairchild at the same volume because that's very important for the MS encoding. Okay, I will add this second version of my drums to the bounce queue and proceed to render everything that I've put into the queue, then download it and import it back into my Pro Tools session. All my completed bounces will appear here in the Files tab, so I can access and download them later even if I don't have an active session. And because I've finished early, I will head to Sessions tab and delete my session to get a little bit of MAT tokens back. I've imported my drums into a separate track with two playlists for the stereo and MS processed one, and my vocals on a separate track. Okay, so let's see how the processed tracks fit into the mix.
Okay, that's for the stereo version. Now let's check how the MS version sounds. Is you, is or is you in my baby? Way your acting lately makes me doubt. You still my baby, baby. Seems my flame in your heart's done gone. Let's listen to this part again and pay attention to how the dynamic range evens out a bit without noticeable change to the color of the singer's voice. Seems my flame in your heart's done gone out. Seems my flame in your heart's done gone out. Seems my flame in your Okay, now that we have our mix ready, let's export it with the FGMU on the master bus bypassed and head back to Mix Analog. I will revert to default settings by double clicking the knobs and let's have a listen. Alright, I'm pretty happy with how this sounds, so I will bounce it, download it and import it back into my Pro Tools session so we can do an A-B comparison of what we've done. For the purpose of the comparison, I've made another mix bus that feeds the input of an audio track with the mix analog bounce, so we can compare quickly with the input monitoring function. And I've disabled the processing on the drum bus and the master bus so we can hear the whole difference that we've made with the Fairchild compressor. So, this is it for today's tutorial. If you want to try it out on your own material, head on to mixanalog.com. 
where the Fairchild is included in the Rec 1. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.